Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 3.9, subtract decimals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to subtract decimals using place value. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin the lesson by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Hannah has 3.36 kilograms of apples and 2.28 kilograms of oranges. Hannah estimates that she has about one more kilogram of apples than oranges. How many more kilograms of apples than oranges does Hannah have? How can you use an estimate to help you decide if your answer is reasonable? Let's underline our questions. The first thing we want to know is how many more apples than oranges we have. The second thing we want to know is how can we estimate to decide if our answer is reasonable. So let's read the blue box to tell us where to start. The first question says, what operation are you going to do to solve the problem? Well, these words here, it says how many more, about how many more apples than oranges, that tells me that I need to subtract. Okay, the next thing says circles Hannah's estimate to check if your answer is reasonable. It says in the problem that she estimates she has about one more kilogram of apples than oranges. So her estimate is one. Now let's go ahead and subtract our numbers to see if we get the same answer as her and if it's about one. The first thing that we need to do is we need to not line up our numbers by their place values. We have done that already and we all always, always, always start from the right. Firstly, we are going to subtract the hundredths and the hundredths are in blue. We have six minus eight. Well, just like we would do with a regular number that didn't have a decimal, if we have six, we can't take away eight. So we need to borrow. So we're gonna borrow from the three that's right next door and it's gonna become a two. And the six is going to become a 16. 16 minus eight is eight. Now let's go to our next place value in orange. We have a two after we borrowed and two minus two is zero. And then lastly, we have the ones place. In the ones place, we have three minus two is one. But don't forget, we need to bring down our decimal. Let's fill in the blanks of what we did over here. The hundredths, we had 16 hundredths minus eight gave us eight. Then we went to the tenths place and we had two, since we borrowed, minus two gave us zero tenths. Lastly, we had the ones place. The ones place started with a three ones minus two ones gave us one, one. So we have about, well exactly, 1.08 kilograms more apples than oranges. So Hannah has 1.08 more apples than oranges. Since 1.08, 08 is close to our estimate of 1, we know that our answer is reasonable. Let's continue with the try this section on the top of the next page. It says we're going to subtract and then we're going to use addition to check our answer. So step 1 says find the difference. We need to subtract 14.2 minus 8.63. Notice that we don't have anything in the tenths place in the number 14.2. So when we don't have any number there, we fill it in with a zero. Now let's go ahead and subtract. If we have zero minus three, we can't do that. So we have to borrow and go to the two. The two becomes a one and the zero becomes a 10. Now we can subtract. 10 minus three is seven. Let's continue to the next place value. One minus six we can't do, so we've got to borrow again. I'm gonna jump across the decimal over to the four and borrow from the four 
it becomes a 3. And the 1 goes over here. Now I have 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. And I'm going to continue. 3 minus 8 I can't do, so I have to borrow one last time. Borrow from the 1, it becomes a 0. And now I have 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. So my answer, remember, drop the decimal, is 5.57. Now let's use addition to check our work. When we use addition to check our work, we want to use the number that we got on the bottom, our last, our difference, plus the number we subtracted, so the two smaller numbers, and when we add them together, we should come back to our original number. So we're going to add the difference of 5.57. It's hard for me to write on the iPad, but you should line up your numbers by their decimal. And then we're going to add them together. So we have 7 plus 3 is 10, carry the 1. 6 plus 5 plus 1 gives us 12, so 2, carry the 1. 8 plus 5 plus 1 is 14, and the 1 drops down this time because there's nothing to carry over to, and we get 14.20, which is the number that we started with. So is our answer correct? Yes. Our answer is correct because we used addition to check our work. Great job, fifth graders. This lesson was a pretty easy one. We're subtracting decimals in our lesson activity. The decimals are already lined up for you in order of place value. You need to copy them down into your math notebook and subtract to solve. Great job.